Hello folks. Today we are going to discuss about an interesting serverless project that I had to work on recently. I, one of my clients came to me and said they want to develop a three-tier web application in the cloud. So we went ahead and as usual asked them what's the requirements and these are the requirements that was given to us by my client and let us go ahead and see that. So in today's video we will see what are the requirements and how we go ahead and solution that and how are the different components of the solution are made up are going to come in the web series of this three tier web app. So let us go ahead and see the requirements now. So the first requirement that was given to me by my client was they wanted to develop a three tier web application and they wanted to develop it in the AWS cloud. They found the value in AWS cloud. They found the functionalities that was provided and the services they offered and they chose the cloud as AWS and that is the first and foremost requirement they gave to us. The second most important requirement that was given to us by the client was they wanted to use as much as possible cloud native services. For example, if a database is available as a service, they wanted to consume that or if their logging mechanism or a monitoring solution is available as a service, they wanted to use that. They didn't want to create their own identity store. They didn't want to interface it with an existing identity store. They wanted to use as much as possible cloud native solutions. So the next requirement that was given to us was the new application that they were building in the cloud needs to be accessible by other third parties as well and their vendors and partners. So they wanted a mechanism so that this application can connect to or receive information from their partners in a secure way and there should not be any problem in scalability or accessibility of these applications. So the other requirement that was given to me was in all in terms of security. That is every piece of the architecture. Let us say there is a front end, middleware, and then the back end. All the different pieces have to be secure by nature. That is, if you are going to have, say, for example, a database, they wanted the database to be encrypted. They wanted the database connections to be over SSL. So that is the requirement that was given in terms of security. And the other one was just now as we spoke about they wanted end-to-end -end encryption not just the data that was residing at rest to be encrypted they want the data that was moving from the client's browser all the way to the database or any of the middle components that we have should also be encrypted so in short data transit, transit has to be encrypted and data at rest has also need to be encrypted the final requirement that was given to us was this application needs to support different users with different levels of privileges. For example, some users might be having admin mode where they can go ahead and create or change some modules or add other users, whereas other users will have only read-only privileges. They can go ahead and just view some pages, make some changes, and they will not be able to store the data. Whereas there will be another set of users who will have privileges enough to make certain changes but not admin level mode. So these are the different requirements that was given to my given to me by my client and this was set up in AWS. So if you have any ideas of how to set up this architecture in AWS, go ahead and put them in the comment section. I'll be happy to go ahead and discuss them with you. In the coming video series, I'm going to show you what was my solution for this requirement and how the different components were used to address the concerns or address all these requirements. Keep watching. Thanks for learning.